Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining involute of triangle with normal and tangent. In the last video we have discussed about the different methods for this engineering course from the conics group. Also we have discussed the different engineering course from the cycloidal group. Now it's turn for the involute. So let's see. First of all, let's see the definition of the involute. Involute is the locus of a point traced out by the end of the tight string being unwound or wound from a circle or polygon. So if the string is wound or unwound on a circle, then it is called as the involute of circle. If the string is wound or unwound on the polygon, then it is called as the involute of polygon. So very simple definition. Let's try to understand the concept of this involute so that you can understand the definition of this involute easily. Here you can see this is the triangle that is considered as a polygon. Now I am going to wound the tight string on this triangle. So Let's say these are the three different vertices of this triangle and this is the string that I am going to wound on the perimeter of this triangle. So according to this definition, if the tie string being wound on this perimeter, then the locus of the point traced out by the end of the tight string is known as the involute of triangle. So one end of the string is actually stuck over here that is called as the fixed end and the another end of the string is free. So here the locus of this point will generate the involute of the triangle. So focus over here on this point. So this is actually the locus of the point and that is known as the involute of triangle. This is really very simple concept of the involute of either polygon or circle. So this is very simple concept. Now you can unwound the string also from the perimeter of the triangle. It is like this. Here this string is unwound from the perimeter of this triangle. At that time also you will get the involute. So your shape is actually the unique whether it is wound or unwound. Now let's see the description. Draw involute of an equilateral triangle having 25 mm sides. Draw normal and tangent at any point. So here first we have to draw the involute of the equilateral triangle and then normal and tangent at any point. So first of all draw the equilateral triangle having 25 mm side. So take 25 mm side and so that you can generate the equilateral triangle. So keep in mind that equilateral that means all sides are equal and so that this three angle must be equal and you know that the total summation of this three angle is 180 for the triangle. So it must be 60-60 degree. Now mention the side of this triangle as 25 because of it is mentioned in the description. Now give the name as 1, 2, 3 for the vertices of the triangle. Now first of all draw the line which is parallel to the side of this triangle. And the length of this line initially take randomly. Now you know that the length of the string required is three times length of this triangle. So you can say it is 75 mm. So take initially the length of the string as 75 mm. Now set the compass that is exactly equal to the side of the triangle. Here it is 25 mm. So set the radius as 25 mm. Next draw the arc with 1 as the center. So 
so here i am going to unwound the string because of in the description it is not mentioned wound or unwound so you can assume any one case now can you imagine what should be the next step yes my dear friend now you have to set the radius from here to here and that is exactly equal to 50 mm so set the radius as 50 mm now take 2 as the center draw the arc from here to here so here you can see gradually the string is going to unwound now next can you imagine my dear friends what should be the next step yes we have to set the radius as 3 to this point and that is exactly equal to 75 mm so set the radius that is exactly equal to 75 mm take 3 as the center draw the arc so this is so simple that is called as the involute of triangle so at last give the name of the curve as involute of triangle now second objective normal and tangent at any point let's say this is the point where i want to draw the normal and tangent and you know that this point that is actually on this arc and for this arc the center is 2 so definitely you should join this V to 2 point if I have assumed the point V over here so can you give me the answer where it should be joined yes it should be joined with the 3 because of for this R 3 is the center here for this R 2 is the center so join V with the 2 and this is your normal and perpendicular to it you will get the tangent and that is simply you can do with the help of the scale by matching this long line with this normal so automatically you will get the perpendicular line so here this is your next answer normal and tangent at any point for the involute of triangle so at last very simple question is it required to make more videos on polygon like square pentagon write your answer in the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it